When you have posterior tibial tendon dysfunction surgery, your foot's immobilized for a long time. This results in profound deconditioning and muscle atrophy. It's most obvious in the muscles of the calf, but it also happens in the small muscles in the foot, which we tend not to think about very much. But the small muscles in the foot or the intrinsic muscles are the muscles that help us with balance, normal gait, and they also help support your new arch. Despite being in a cast, two to three weeks after surgery, you can start doing exercises of the intrinsic muscles of the feet. You can also do these exercises while you're in a cam boot. I'm going to demonstrate some of these exercises wearing the cam boot. It's not impressive because there's not a lot to see. So while you're wearing the cam boot or the cast, there's a couple things you can do to exercise your foot. You can push your toes down against the bottom of the uh, cam boot or against the cast. You can lift your toes up. You can spread your toes apart. And you can alternate lifting your great toe and pressing down your lesser toes and then switch. Press down with your great toe and lift your lesser toes and alternate back and forth. Obviously, there's not a lot to see here because these movements are small and they're obscured by the cam boot and the cast. The other thing you can do is scrunch your arch against the resistance of the cam boot or the cast. Just squeeze your foot to try to make it smaller. Squeezing the arch, hold it and then relax. Once you've graduated to the cam boot, you should wear the cam boot whenever you're walking or standing. But when you're sitting down, you can take the cam boot off and you can exercise your foot and ankle with the cam boot off. I'm gonna show you a bunch of exercises now that you can do while you're still non-weight bearing without the cam boot. So one of these exercises is just pointing your toes down. And like I said, you can do this in the cast and you can do it in the cam boot. Doesn't look like much, but it's amazing how um, much strength you lose in your toes from the immobilization. You can also lift your toes up. You can also alternate your great toe and your lesser toes. Big toe up, toes down. Big toe down, little toes up. Big toe up, little toes down. Big toe down, little toes up. You can also spread your toes. I have a lot of trouble with this one because I have some neuropathy, but I can do it pretty good, pretty well, with my good foot. And just spread them, hold them, and relax. The other exercise you can do is arching your foot. This one takes a little bit of practice and it helps if you can push your toes down on something. So while you're in the cast or in the cam boot, you can push your toes down and arch your foot. Once you got your foot arched, hold it and relax. Hold it and relax. Hold it. These are exercises of the intrinsic foot muscles that you can do even while you're in a cast or a cam boot.
Once you're out of the cast and in the cam boot, you're again going to be spending most of your time sitting down with your foot elevated, at least for the first couple of weeks. Um, but when you take the cam boot off, you can stretch and exercise your foot. You can flex your ankle. and extend your ankle. And when you extend your ankle, you can point your toes. And when you flex your ankle, you can pull your toes up as far as you can. You can also rotate your ankle to the outside and rotate your ankle to the inside. You can also put the soles of your feet together and then just lift your toes together up off the ground. While sitting, you can push your toes into the ground and relax. Push your toes into the ground and relax. And you can trace the letters of the alphabet with your toe. It's an A. That's a B. That's a C in case you couldn't tell. Or you can just move your ankle in circles in one direction and then in the other direction. Again, all of these exercises are totally non-weight bearing and you can do them as soon as you are out of the cast in most cases. You can also stretch the muscles at the back of your foot. If you keep your knee straight and pull back with a towel as far as you can until you feel that stretch in the back of your leg. And you can do it with your knee slightly bent and pull back as far as you can until you feel some stretch. Putting your foot on a rolled up towel like this helps take some of the pressure off your heel. When you stretch, you wanna hold it for at least 30 seconds to one minute. And you always wanna do three or four separate stretches in a row in order to maximize the effectiveness of the stretch. You can also put your towel around the great toe and just stretch your great toe. So once you're in the cam boot, 
and you're able to bear weight with the boot, you're usually able to use resistance bands for exercise as well. So when you take your cam boot off and you're sitting there relaxing, watching TV, you can exercise your foot using the resistance band. Again, extension and relax. Extension and relax. Extension and relax. You can use your other foot to anchor the band to the side and move your foot outward against resistance. And the other side and move your foot inward against resistance. You can also tie the end of the resistance band to something solid if you don't want to use your foot. So with the resistance band tied to something solid, you can exercise your ankle in flexion. And when you're using exercise bands, you want to make sure that the band is smooth over your foot, not all bunched up, so that the force is distributed across a wide area. You can also get it around the foot toe first. You can also exercise flexor hallucis longus, the muscle that um, moves your great toe against resistance, non-weight bearing. I'm holding the exercise band out to the side because of my bunion. My toe doesn't always go all the way down to the ground. It gets caught up on the toe next to it. Holding the exercise band out to the side helps keep it from bumping into the toe next door. Okay. Again, with the exercise band around the front of your foot, holding the other side of the exercise band to the side with your other foot, you can push your ankle out to the side. Abduction of the ankle. And the same thing on the other side and push your ankle towards the midline of your body. Adduction of the ankle. You can also tie it around um, a stationary object or have somebody hold it for you. When you're still wearing the cam boot, you can take the cam boot off as long as you're not uh, putting weight on your, your feet. And you can sit in a chair and you can do heel raises with minimal weight on your foot. And by putting your feet farther back under the chair, you can get more stretch. Just make sure that you keep the weight on your toes and 
make sure that your heels go all the way down to the floor to stretch the back of your calf. You can also stretch the back of the calf by putting a towel around your great toe and pulling back. And you can also do it with your knees slightly bent at 20 degrees. So you can also exercise the intrinsic muscles of the foot against the floor by pressing down with your feet without curling your toes. Just press your toes down into the floor. And then lift your toes up. Lifting your toes up will help you arch your foot. And then once your toes are lifted and your foot's arched, relax your toes while maintaining that arch in the middle of your foot. This is called the short foot exercise because when you relax the arch, your foot gets longer. Lift your toes to help you contract the arch of your foot. Then relax your toes, keeping the arch constricted. And then relax and your foot gets longer. You can also um, do uh, an inchworm exercise where you contract your arch. Relax your toes, keeping the arch contracted, and then pull your heels back, leaving your toes in the same spot. And you will inch your feet back incrementally. I think my good foot's winning the race here. This is another way you can do non-weight bearing short foot exercise, contracting the muscles that form the arch of your foot.